welcome back. This is Lifted Noise. Today, I want to talk about chopping in the MPC 500. Yeah, I know I may be a little late with this one, and there's most likely a few videos out there on the subject, but just to show my appreciation for this machine, I wanted to go ahead and give it a go. Um, there's just something about the simplicity of it and using your ears to chop that I really love. Most people you know, may steer clear of it because the ease of use isn't quite the same as like the other NPCs that, you know, give you the auto chop. But using the ears, there's something to that, man. It's music. So if you're new to the 500, maybe this will be helpful. It's one way of chopping. Or if you're on the fence about what NPC you want to buy, um, this is still an option, the cheapest option out there. And it's really dope. It does what it needs to do in its basic, most simplest form. And so... Let's go ahead and check it out, come on. So the first thing I recommend doing is creating yourself a chopping program with some settings and save that as a template. So really just saving an empty program with no samples in it. And this is how I've set mine up. So going into program and scrolling over just a couple of settings, uh, what you wanna do is uh, turn all your pads to mono as you see. Um, by default, they're usually set to, to poly, so I want them all to be mono. This means that when you press a pad, it cuts itself off. And then also, I want to set all of these pads to a mute group. So I've set all of them to mute group 1. And I'm only doing 12 pads. If you foresee yourself chopping more than 12 pads, then you can do a whole program. You know, you can do as many banks as you got. So I think you, with the MPC uh, 500, you have up to 48 chops that you could possibly do on one drum program so i'm only going to do 12 that's all i need so now that that's set i'm going to assign my sample to pad one so here's my sample and this will stay as is so as you see now from here i'm going to go into trim and i'm going to edit from here, I'm going to extract, and then I'll put that, I'll press pad two, and hit do it. And now I have a second copy. From here, I'm gonna set a new start point. So from there, I want to do this again. I want to extract and then I'm setting to pad two and then I'll just start a new start point. So the reason you want to do this one by one is that when you extract it, it'll extract it from that new start point and then it'll leave you with less chopping to do. So now I'm here. <laughs> This is a good, let me go back a little bit. This is a good way um, determining whether you got a good uh, start point on your transient. Just, just by tapping the pad, you can kind of hear how much air is between your chop and your transient. You hear that come in, it's just the attack. So that's my next chop. I'm uh, to do this again. Extract. Go into pad four. And of course, you can hold shift. My shift is covered up by the sticker. Hold shift and click your cursor in, and this will give you the ability to do uh, larger uh, increments and smaller increments. So I want to do more of a larger one right now. Let's see how that goes. So I'll just keep doing this until I get as many chops as I want. Let's go. Add five and that'll do. So there you go. Hopefully that helps somebody out. If you made it this far, then I guess that suggests you're interested in the 500 and what it can do. 
Uh, that's one way of chopping in it. There's something to be said about the simplicity using your ears. It is music, like I said. Um, versus, you know, the new machines that have all these functions. You got a waveform, you have a lazy chop, it does it all for you. I feel like this actually creates an environment for you to actually build a skill within yourself and have a greater ability rather than relying on a machine and uh, to do it all for you. So, um, yeah, I recommend this machine. I recommend the MPC 500 if you don't own one already. It's still a great option. It's the cheapest option out there and very powerful as long as you, uh, you know, use your own abilities and, and build those up while you're using it. Don't get frustrated. Be patient with it. But yeah, so look forward to seeing more videos on it. I know it's not going to be the most popular video on my channel, but uh, I enjoy it. So until next time, everybody stay humble, lift noise. God bless.